buying any gift cards this holiday season? The good news is they no longer expire in a couple of years like they used to. Now, the bad news, they can still come with a catch. Jiao Jiao Shen explains. Gift cards are bigger than ever this holiday season, with the average shopper expected to spend $155 on gift cards, according to the National Retail Federation. But before you snap one up, there are some catches. Number one, in many cases, if the recipient loses the gift card, it can't be replaced. That happened to Barbara Mills. They canceled the card, but they wouldn't issue another one. And I it was ludicrous. Catch number two, a gift card that's already been used or activated. It can happen with cards hanging in store displays, and it happened to Nancy Parrott. Before I went to use them, I registered them online, and when I did that, it said I only had a $50 balance, and it's a $100 gift card. Catch number three, surprise fees. New federal laws eliminated fees on store gift cards and prohibit inactivity fees for one year, but reloadable cards offered by Visa, MasterCard, or malls are exempt and can still cost you up to $5 to reload. Catch four, the recipient may never use it. As many as a third of gift cards are never redeemed, often because the card was for a store where the recipient never shops. Jia Jia Shen, NBC Action News. Now, experts say it is important to read the fine print on the gift card before you make the purchase. And if possible, buy a gift card from behind the counter where there's less chance of tampering.